Okay, so we're given a triple integral to solve. And we don't, we aren't given exact bounds of integration, but we're given an expression for each variable. Now, since these are all constants, it doesn't really matter which order we go in. I'm just going to go in the order that they were given. So, x, z, and then y. So, match up our bounds, dy, dz, and dx. So, I'm going to start with the middle first, and we're integrating with respect to y. So, the only thing that's a function of y is this little y. So, the integral is going to be 1 half y squared times z times z to the 2x, because we're just treating them as constants. And we're evaluating from y equals negative 4 to y equals 2. So first I want to plug in 2 where I see a y. 2 squared is 4 over 2. So. 2z e to the 2x. Now I want to plug in a negative 4. Well, negative 4 squared is 16. Divided by 2, minus 8. And then I just want to combine these. So 2 minus 8, negative 6. So now we want to integrate with respect to z. The only thing that's a function of z here is z. So the integral of z is 1 half z squared. We need to take this negative 6 here, so negative 3. Now you just want to evaluate from z equals 3 to z equals 5. So now we're going to evaluate this for z. I'm just going to rewrite it. So first we want to plug in 5. 5 squared is 25 times 3, negative 75. Now I want to plug in 3. 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27. Then we just need to combine these two. So, forty eight. Okay, now we need to integrate with respect to x. So, we're looking at e to the two x. Integral of e to the 2x is 1 half e to the 2x. So negative 24 e to the 2x. We want to evaluate that from x equals 0 to x equals 1. So first I'm going to plug 1 in. This is going to give me e squared. Now I want to plug in 0. e to the 0 is 1, so I'm just going to have 24. Now I can factor a 24 out here. And that'll give me my answer. 